If you've ever done a repair, odds are pretty good that you've come across a connector or two. And if you're new to repair, like me, or you're unfamiliar with the internals of your device, the variety of connectors you can encounter can be confusing and tricky. The first time I tried to replace my iPhone screen, I totally busted the display cable connector because I tried to incorrectly reattach it. Turns out, knowing how to handle connectors is super important for repair. So let's go over the most common types and how to approach them. First step is the ribbon connector. These don't have locking flaps like the ZIF connector, since their cables are sturdier, and you can find them in larger devices such as printers and game consoles. In fact, the PlayStation 4 uses this style of connector to connect its optical drive to the motherboard. To disconnect this cable, you can just slowly pull the cable out or push it in to reinsert it. Try not to kink the cable, and push on the little plastic connector rather than the cable itself if you can. Next are the Zero Insertion Force or ZIF connectors. These are used to secure more delicate ribbon cables and are common in devices such as laptops and Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. As the name implies, they don't require any force to connect and disconnect them, so you need to be very careful with them. Just use your fingernail or the tip of a spudger to flip the little flap that locks the cable in place and then gently pull the cable out with some tweezers. Flat top connectors look like you'd expect them to. They're flat. Dealing with these connectors is pretty simple, but it can be tricky because they're deceptively fragile. Just use an opening tool or the flat side of a spudger to pry up the connector and lift it out of the socket, but be very careful not to pry up the whole socket. To reinstall the connector, just position it back on the socket and carefully press on either side with your fingertips until it snaps back into place. If it's not snapping back into place, try to reseat it again. Pressing harder will just bend the connectors. Pretty much anything with an antenna will use a coaxial connector, and these guys are tricky. When dealing with these connectors, make sure to use ESD safe tools. To disconnect them, just slide your pry tool or tweezers until they're seated snugly against the connector and pry straight up. To put it back, hold the connector in place and then use your tool to press it straight down. It will click back into its socket, kind of like a metal snap on a jacket. Display cables and some camera cables often have a small metal bracket that attaches to the back of the socket to hold them in place. Carefully insert a spudger underneath the clip and swing the clip over to the other side of the socket. It should be flat against the cable. Then grab the cable and the clip together and gently pull in the direction of the cable to remove the connector. And there you go! Now you know how to deal with some of the most common connector types. Just remember, the rule of thumb for any connector is to take it slowly and deliberately. Look around to see if you can find any defining features, such as a flip tab or a metal bracket. Try to see if you can figure out how the connector was built, and don't be afraid to try lots of different tools. If you get stuck, you can always check out our repair guides or our answers forum. There are a lot of other types of connectors that we didn't get to cover in this video, but good news, we have a guide for that. Check out the link in the description below, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked this video and want to see more like it.